Hello friend, sends greetings to the audience. In Ecuador alone, more than 20 million guinea pigs are produced yearly to meet growing demand. Why has this tiny animal become an important staple in South American cuisine? Join us on Trending Farms Farming Documentary to discover the secrets of successful guinea pig farming. Guinea pig farms, particularly in Peru and Ecuador, are meticulously designed to cater to the increasing demand for meat production, reflecting the cultural significance of this protein source in these regions. A typical guinea pig farm can accommodate thousands of animals in compact, multi-tiered pens, maximizing space efficiency by housing up to 20 guinea pigs per square meter. The farms highlighted in this farming documentary can produce as many as 15,000 guinea pigs each week with a growth cycle of approximately six to 12 weeks to reach market weight, usually between two and three pounds. Unlike farms that raise guinea pigs as pets, the focus here is on rapid growth, high turnover, and effective resource management, all vital for sustaining a profitable operation. Facilities are equipped with climate-controlled barns to ensure a stable environment for the animals, along with specialized feeding systems designed to deliver a balanced diet efficiently. This combination of technology and farming practices not only enhances productivity, but also prioritizes the health and welfare of the guinea pigs, ultimately supporting the industry's growth. Guinea pigs have unique nutritional needs that set them apart from other farm animals, making their nutrition an important aspect of successful farming. To take a closer look at how to manage guinea pig diets on a large scale, Trending Farms Farming Documentary delves into the feeding practices and methods that ensure healthy, fast-growing guinea pigs for meat production. Unlike livestock, they can consume a wide variety of foods. Guinea pigs need a high-fiber diet rich in fresh hay leafy greens, and nutrient-dense pellets to support their delicate digestive systems. On farms, guinea pigs consume about one to two ounces of pellets and a cup of vegetables per day, with hay always available. Since guinea pigs cannot produce their own vitamin C, their diet must be carefully supplemented to ensure healthy growth. In 
In some areas, farmers combine local crops such as alfalfa and corn husks to reduce costs while maintaining nutritional standards. Did you know a guinea pig's diet plays an important role in their fertility and reproductive health, especially when breeding on farms? Unlike many other animals, guinea pigs do not have a specific breeding season and can mate all year round if given the right conditions. Click the like button below this farming documentary to learn more about breeding guinea pigs on guinea pig farms. In general, on farms, stable temperatures, clean living environments, and adequate space are essential to maintain a healthy breeding cycle. Female guinea pigs, or sows, can give birth to three to four litters per year, with each pregnancy lasting approximately 59 to 72 days. Baby guinea pigs or pups are born fully furred and weigh approximately three to four ounces. Their eyes are open and they can walk within a few hours of birth, showing remarkable development. Puppies also have fully developed teeth, allowing them to begin eating solid food within a few days. Processing guinea pigs for meat involves a number of detailed steps to ensure quality and efficiency, reflecting the growing popularity of this protein source, especially in South American countries. On average, processing facilities can process up to 15,000 guinea pigs per week at a cost ranging from $3 to $5 per guinea pig, depending on the market and demand. Guinea pig meat has become popular, not only for its unique flavor, but also for its nutritional benefits, making it a staple in many traditional dishes. processing methods for guinea pigs differ significantly from those used for larger livestock. Once they arrive at the facility, guinea pigs are typically placed in a holding area to acclimate. They are then humanely processed, a technically different method than larger animals that require more complex machinery. The 
The animals are skinned and their internal organs removed, a process that is done by hand due to their small size. Workers use specialized tools designed for precision so that the processing is thorough and does not affect the quality of the guinea pig meat. After processing, the meat is cleaned, weighed, and packaged for distribution. The entire process is designed to minimize stress on the animals and maximize hygiene, ensuring the meat is safe for consumption. The final product is usually sold fresh, but can also be frozen or processed for export, particularly to markets with growing interest in guinea pig meat, such as the United States and parts of Europe. This comprehensive approach not only meets domestic demand, but also opens up new avenues for international trade in guinea pig meat, highlighting its growing position in the global meat market. The journey of raising millions of guinea pigs for meat not only reveals the complex farming practices involved, but also the cultural significance of this protein source in many communities. Leave your thoughts on the journey from farm to table of guinea pigs below Trending Farms Farming Documentary. Your understanding contributes to the development of our community. Each subscription to your channel helps us have the motivation to produce more effective videos every day. Trending Farm thanks you for your companionship and see you in the next videos on the channel. Britain has around 10,000 free-range pig farms, especially in the south and southeast, where there is more pasture and suitable climate. The outdoor pig farming model in the UK is becoming increasingly popular, attracting the attention of many farmers thanks to its outstanding advantages in animal welfare, meat quality and sustainability. Pigs are raised in a natural environment, with plenty of space to exercise, sunbathe and express instinctive behavior. This helps improve the pig's physical and mental health, minimizing the risk of disease and stress. However, the cost of building barns and facilities for outdoor farming models is often higher than indoor farming. This model requires highly specialized management techniques and more workers to care for and monitor the health of pigs. Pigs raised outdoors are susceptible to harsh weather conditions such as heat, rain, wind and cold, and have a higher risk of spreading disease. Therefore, on farms in the UK, farmers provide covered areas to help pigs have enough shelter from the sun and rain, minimizing the impact of the weather. They put straw in the piglet's cage to keep them warm and maintain moisture so they can grow well.
what other regimes are British farmers applying to their free-range pigs? Let's join Trending Farm to watch the next few minutes of this video. At British Free Range Pig Farms, farmers are equipped with a system of containers and feeding troughs everywhere to conveniently supply food when needed. In particular, British farmers emphasize the importance of clean water, especially in summer. 70% of a pig's body weight is water and affects most of their essential biological processes. Clean water helps piglets develop their immune systems and lubricates their joints, making them more flexible and resilient. In addition, clean water affects the flavor, tenderness and sweetness of mature pork. Pigs are provided with enough clean water for higher quality, more delicious meat. Not to mention, providing enough water helps pigs eliminate toxins from the body, reducing the risk of disease and improving overall health. On average, each adult pig needs 4 to 10 litres of clean water per day per pound of body weight. The amount of water consumed by pigs will be monitored and adjusted by the farmer to suit each herd. The automatic water supply system always ensures adequate supply of clean, safe water for pigs throughout the day. If you are wondering about the quality standards and color of succulent pork after processing in the food processing factory, please click like and join us in the processing factory right now. The multi-million dollar pork processing plant we are about to explore not only stands out for its ability to process up to 35,000 pigs per day, but is also impressive for its application of advanced technology and management processes, along with strict quality management. The factory optimizes processes from receiving, processing to packaging, all automated to ensure efficiency and food safety. Pigs are transported carefully, strictly quarantined and carefully classified. Next, the meat separation process in the pork processing plant begins after the pigs are processed and cleaned. First, the pig carcass is cut in half using modern cutting technology, ensuring high precision and minimizing human intervention, thereby limiting the risk of cross-contamination. Then, the pig carcass is hung up and moved to the davening area. Highly skilled experts use precision machinery to separate each part of the pig. The meat is cut and divided into parts such as belly, ribs, thighs, and others, each of which is processed accordingly to meet different end products. Any unused parts such as excess fat and untreated organs are sorted and sent to a recycling or waste disposal area. There are many ways to create delicious and flavorful bacon. Would you choose to dry and then smoke or smoke directly so that the meat is more imbued with a smoky flavor? Please leave your answer to let us know after you have followed the entire bacon production process in this food factory.
The process of processing bacon in a food factory begins with selecting high quality pieces of pork, usually pork belly. First, the pork belly is washed and prepared for the next steps. After that, the meat is rubbed with salt to proceed with the curing process. Salt is often mixed with sugar, spices and sometimes flavorings to create the characteristic flavor of bacon. After the salting stage, the meat is smoked. This process not only creates flavor but also helps preserve the meat. It is said that by liking the video, you will be able to smell the aroma from the smoked meat food processing factory. After completing the smoking process, the bacon is sliced and packed into sealed packages for storage and transportation. Finally, bacon packages are quality inspected before leaving the factory, ensuring that all food safety and quality standards are met. Each stage of the bacon process requires attention to detail and highly specialized techniques, from salting to smoking and packaging, to create a high quality bacon product that is safe for consumers' use. According to Mordor Intelligence, the UK smoked meat market is expected to reach $3.1 billion by 2029, with a CAGR growth rate of 2.56% between 2024 and 2029. Here, bacon is distributed through the dominant retail channel followed by food service channels The average Briton consumes around 6.6 .6 pounds of smoked meat per person per year. According to several surveys conducted by the British, smoked meat consumption can be influenced by factors such as price, health trends, culinary preferences and marketing activities. In the UK market, smoked meat prices range from about 4.5 to 11.53 USD pound. Do you think this is expensive or cheap? Overall, the UK smoked meat market has growth potential in the coming years. Demand for this product is driven by convenience, flavor and preparation versatility. However, food factories need to pay attention to consumer health trends and develop suitable products to meet more market needs. Thank you so much guys for watching this video. So since we don't really have any clue of what kind of difficulties that you could be facing in your farms, please don't forget to share all the problems you're facing and uh, obstacles you're going through, as this will tremendously help us with our upcoming videos.